I made a life-size airpod stickers and stuck them on the ground all over the city. My conspiracy theory is that there's no such thing as witness protection. When the government erases your identity, they just duck and kill you. It's cheaper, easier, and when people are like no seriously, where are they? They can be, like I know right. How good are we? Loving the idea of someone in witness protection scrolling through Twitter, seeing this tweet, and being angry, because they know I'm wrong, but obviously can't say it. My mum's laptop wallpaper was a picture of her granddaughter. I copied the picture 100 times and made her wallpaper a slideshow of the same picture over and over again. So the file would change but nothing would change visibly on the monitor. The pictures would change every 10 seconds. On one of the images I painted a tiny little curly moustache on her. So randomly for 10 seconds my niece would have a moustache. My mum thought she was either losing her mind or had a computer virus and every time the moustache popped up, it was gone by the time she tried to show anyone. I like to add, and any time I submit online forms, because I know that some developer is going to see it and wonder if they have a bug. This random number texted me accidentally and I couldn't help myself lmro. When you get home and get the baby settled, call me. I thought you had the baby, what? One time I asked a rival dad, who I knew, didn't own a torque wrench, if I could borrow his torque wrench in front of a group of people. I got banned from Cheat Code Central when I was a kid for posting elaborate time wasting fake cheats for various games I never played. My mom grounded me, so I catfished her for 6 months and broke her heart. After much thought and consideration, I have come to the scientific conclusion that we should use light show drones to scare the shut out of uncontacted tribes. Daughter doesn't want it, freaks her out. I want to get back my money, best offer. I'll give you $100 to tell her it's sold, hide it in the attic for 2 weeks, take it out and put it back in her room while she's sleeping. My boyfriend is extremely against weed, but apparently not against cheating, so guess who's getting pot browners right before their dog test for work next week. My ex works in a pharmacy, so whenever I want to spoil her mood, I will just go there and buy condo for no reason. Sometimes I go 3 times a day. I finally found the bottom rot corner of the excel sheet, it's xfd 1,048,576. Pro tip, change the font color to white, put a zero in that box, and if someone tries to print out the document, it will eat a ream of paper. In 8th grade, I had a teacher who, if he caught you reading, would take your book away, read the ending, then treat him to tell you the ending, if he caught you reading it again. I'm in a worm at parking lot watching a woman who can't remember where she parked. Every time she holds her remote in the air, I honk my horn. Fun fact. Crows can talk just like parrots do. It requires a process called freeing their tongue. Don't ask. But yes I want to train a flock of them to say run and release them onto a hiking trail. I want to ask, how many nightmares do you want to give people? All of them. How to make a character's dealt sadder. 1. Don't have them die of old age after a long fulfilling life. Many people don't even think of this as sad. Note that this can still work if you have enough of the other factors. 2. Leave one of their major goals unfinished. The more enthusiastic they are about completing the goal, the sadder. 3. Give them strong relationships with other characters. 4. Make them fight against whatever is causing their doubt. Their ultimate loss is sadder if they struggle. 5. Kill them in the middle of their character arc. 6. Don't describe their funeral in detail. Maybe it's just me, but I find that long descriptions of funerals kill the sadness. That's Sinus Satan's publisher. A Deka dad cut me off in the parking lot, so I went early yesterday and taught his kid how to ride a bike. You can never get that back. That's the evilest thing I can imagine.
I want a record and audiobook that's 8 hours of breathing and page turning. Then just oh, you mean out loud? Right at the end. I love Call of Duty Modern Warfare crossplay. I said Xbox turn off, and turned off some poor kid's Xbox mid-game lol. I grounded my kid, and this was his response. The passer through walls, le passe mirail, sculpture in the Paris catacombs. Some French guy, you know what would be ducked up, to see in the catacombs. Today I was so bored, I saw an ant in my kitchen, and I placed few sugar cubes in front of her, she had some, and went to tell her friends. And I quickly hide the sugar cubes, because I wanted them to think she is a liar. If you had to design a harmless but annoying virus, what would it do? You have a strong urge to sneeze, but can't actually sneeze. Alright, calm down Satan. If you're bored on Valentine's Day, just go up to random couples in restaurants and yell who the hell is she, laughs in Sith Lord. The advanced version is, when you bring some kids with you. I noticed that, while I was peeing in a public restroom, that some dude was sitting in the stall quietly, as if he was waiting for me to leave. So I went to the door, opened it, let it creak shut and waited. I heard him sigh in relief, and then start shutting very audibly. So I yelled hacker I heard you. And then I left. I bet he died inside. Whoa there Satan. I spilled my drink trying to put my seat belt on. And look at this mother ducker. Not the pop up. Ah yes, I was looking for a soap dispenser labeled ketchup with a picture of grapes. I really want this bottle in my bathroom. I'd place it next to matching decorative soaps and towels, as if it seems like it fits, but I'll actually fill the thing up with ketchup. So when I have guests over, and they decide to use the bathroom, they will see this bottle, and have a moment of cognitive dissonance. This, soap bottle, in the, bathroom, is labeled, ketchup, so surely it must dispense, soap, instead of, ketchup, despite the label saying, ketchup, right? And then let them have a moment of realization followed by abject horror as they pump viscous ketchup all over their hands instead of soap. I sent this prank puzzle to my grandpa who loves Trump, and he finally started it today. Is this your idea of a joke? Yeah lol. You aren't welcome here for Christmas. Your grandpa is furious. Power move. Next time you go to the airport, bring a bottle of shampoo, but it's filled with yogurt. When they tell you that liquids aren't allowed, drink it. True story. I'm flying right now. But through Wi-Fi and an app on my phone, I'm honking the horn on my car back home to annoy my family. The future is now. Me, good night kids. Kids, good night dad. Me, good night monster that eats children who are bad. Wife, threw radio under the bed. Good night. That's the evilest thing I can imagine. Replace a semicolon with a Greek question mark in your friend's JavaScript and watch them pull their hair out over the syntax error. Got no kids. Hire a babysitter anyway. Say your kid is asleep upstairs and must not be disturbed. Then upon your return, ask where your child is. So my daughter just bought a house that was built in late 1800s. We found this, and she threw it out. I got it out of the trash and let the games begin. Someone should make a haunted house, where it's not that scary and the props look poorly made, but the exit is fake and the real haunted house begins, when you think you've left it. Well, I just wanna say, that I'm a huge fan. Spending my valentines outside a nice restaurant shouting well you moved on pretty quickly to random couples walking in. This girl on Instagram posted her plane ticket and I called and cancelled her flight. If you hate your homeowners association, nothing funnier than installing a 7000 plus capacity bat roost, causing thousands of bats to come into your neighborhood. The will cause your homeowners association to complain, but they cannot legally do anything, because bats are federally protected animals, and it cannot be removed.
The neighbor's kids challenged us to a water fight. I'm in. Just waiting for the water to boil. You know how pantry shelves are a certain size? What if we make our family size boxes just a little bigger than that? Serial executive. First of all, I love it. Found an extra pair of boots at the work site, so I decided to give my boss a heart attack. My daughter asked why she can't just quit school, and I told her it's against the law, and they'll put me in jail. And my sweet sweet child looked me in the eye and said I'll visit you. Daughter be like. A small price to pay for no school. Ella Adam. Lol. Lily thinks we are doing our senior quotes together. Lily Adam. Sandwiches. If someone was covered in paper cuts and you threw them into a pool of lemon juice, how long do you think it would take them to die? What circle of Dante's Inferno did you crawl out of? What if you rolled their body and sold first? Easy there, Satan. Margarita of Pain. Mirdi Ritter. I found out on Fiverr.com you can buy 1000 likes for $5. The only thing is that the likes come from the Middle East and they have Arabic names. So when I saw that my friend tweeted excited for my flight to New York City, I immediately spent the best $5 of my life. I came into the office early and switched as many M and N keys on keyboards as I could. Some might say I'm a monster, but others will say nomster. Game show idea, 11 guy men and one straight man are locked in a house. The object for the guy men is to find out who isn't guy. Once a week, someone gets outvoted until two are left, or the straight man is out. If the guys manage to outvote him, they win one million dollars. If the straight man is among the two last people in the house in the end, he wins one million dollars. Now here's the twist. None of the men are actually guy, they just all think they are the one straight man. It's fun to chant Bloody Mary into your car's side mirror three times and watch her jog and try to keep up. Being a nut even to demons. A guy I put in the friend zone a year ago almost got a girlfriend today. So I told him I like him. I don't. But I need him just in case. That woman's villainy knows no bound. My wife forgot to leave for me the car seat to take our son to the babysitter's house. This is a picture I sent when she asked how I was going to get him there. I then turned off my phone for the next 4 hours. My stink is cooking in front of my friends who know which knife is made for what and forcing them to watch me use the wrong one for the wrong thing. Use the cheese grater for tomatoes. You'll burn in hell for this. Unethical life pro tip request, what are some websites I can sign up my neighbor for, so he gets garrisoned by visitors non-stop? This guy is such an arrogant jack, yells at people who walks their dog past his house. He really hates dogs and even called the police on some of his neighbors for just walking their dog. I want him to have visitors non-stop ringing his doorbell. What are some websites I can sign him up, so he gets visited? Take a picture of some random liquor bottles, or just find one online. Make an ad on Craigslist saying you're a alcoholic who just started recovery and you're giving away your stash for free to the first person who shows up. Pick up only. His address. Watch the fun. Saying do I smell popcorn right after you dart, so everybody takes a deep breath. Well, I just wanna say that I'm a huge fan. Me watching the neighbors fight over a pair of panties I purposefully left behind in the guy's car cause the woman wouldn't buy Girl Scout cookies from my daughter. Nobody will notice. If I was a famous actor and had a horde of fan girls, I would stay single and every time an interviewer asked me about my love life, I dance that there's this one girl I saw at a meeting with fans. I don't know her name because of all the fuss with the autographs and I have only seen her once, but I'm in love with her, I'd say that, looking all sad and lonely. Imagine all the fan girls faces. Just calm down a second there, Satan. That's the evilest thing I can imagine.
Why is this latch yes a different color? Is it sick or something? Yeah it's a glitch. Just kill it. I killed it. And it's back to red now. Thanks for your help. Butchers always think they freaky. Till they meet an egg like me. Who gone tie them down. And pour a tablespoon of some McDonald's Sprite on the cliff. And watch that mother ducker fizz up like some queefing pop rocks. Let me start off by saying. I was fighting demons last night. I apologize. In college, we named our intramural softball team no game scheduled, because if the other team didn't show up, they lost their league deposit and forfeited. It worked several times. Everyone hated us and nothing as cool as that has happened to me since. Back in uni, a girl mocked my presentation one time, so I searched for her group and asked the topic they were presenting on. I spent 4 days researching on it and asked her so many questions like it was common knowledge that she cried. Stay blessed precious one. President Lyndon B. Johnson owned an amphibious car, the Amphica, and used it to scare guests by driving them into his lake, screaming about brake failure. Instant power outlet prank stickers, 4 pack. As a teacher, you're sometimes privileged to witness life moments. I saw a girl approach a boy to ask if he wanted her number. He paused, then pulled out his phone. Utter joy on the girl's face. I then confiscated the phone as it's against rules to have it out in the corridor. When I'm bored, I come to Walmart and put these on people car windows. Call me. I'm pregnant. If you wear a falconry glove to the park and frantically look around the sky, everyone with a small dog will leave. Warning. These brownies are for shuts and giggles. Some have laxative. Some have pot. My sister ate the leftovers I was saving, so I taped this to her bathroom window. Have a nice shower sweetie. Was my cashier wrong for denying me a condo? For context, I'm 14. I live in Canada. Before asking her, I made sure that it was legal for me to buy a condo, and to my surprise, it somehow is. The cashier insisted that she couldn't sell one to me because I was a minor. I told her that you could buy condos at any age, but she held firm. I awkwardly said bye and left. So that snacks. No slexy time with my girlfriend go back in a week or two and ask them for a pregnancy test. Personally, I just want my body fixed. I hate having a disease that is written into my genetics. Ducking type 1. 1. In 2012, a Chicago man bought a car for $600, registered it in his ex-girlfriend's name, then parked at O'Hare Airport and racked up 678 parking tickets totaling $105,761.80. To get revenge on a co-worker, I dried out a pack of Sharpies, and every time he leaves his out, I swap it for an identical dead one. It's been a week and he's losing his mind. I wanna know what the ducker did to warrant such pure unadulterated evil genius. Hey man. Could you pass me my drink? Yeah dog. I got you. Just finished setting up my dad's TV. He has no idea how to change this lol. HDMI 3. Guy palm. I'm burying a dollar store skeleton in a shallow grave under my new deck. Should be funny in 30 some years when the next guy is rebuilding it. Don't punish your child by taking their online games away, log on to their games, and get them banned. Modern problems require modern solutions. I've been waiting for the perfect time to change my Netflix password so my ex can't use it anymore, and it doesn't really get much better than a national lockdown. When my wife, who shy as duck, 
first met my extended family, we had a big dinner with about 14 people. At the end of the meal I said, to say thanks, she'd love to sing for you all. Everyone went silent, and stared at her, and she still hasn't forgiven me 9 years later. People who scream red during a Kahoot game, even though they know it's green and 14 people get it wrong. Satan. I caught a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C plus. I have a fish named Gerald who I hate, so I put him in a tank on the beach. He's so close to the ocean, but can never reach it. One year, a few senior boys got three chickens and released them into the school, but they labeled them one, two, and four. The teacher spent hours looking for chicken number three. If you could telepathically say something that all 7.8 billion people on earth could hear at once, what would it be? You picked the correct religion. I'm real, and this is the proof you've been asking for. Then I'd watch the world blow up. My boyfriend, guy, dumped me, so I catfished his straight older brother for needs. Then I made a second catfish account for a guy guy to send the needs of his brother to him. So he jeeked off to photos of his brother and thought it was some other guy. Lol. Are you okay? A girl messaged me saying that I post too much and I'm ugly. I did a little digging and found out that she works at a spa an hour away. I made an appointment and asked for her specifically. Needless to say she will be waxing and bleaching my bed hole tomorrow. Customer came in complaining of hearing a whistle coming from the engine. I was able to diagnose the issue as them having ace hole friends. I don't want to die a beer gym. Poof. Done. Nothing happened. You are immortal now. You can invent a disease that doesn't hurt anybody, only passes them off or inconveniences them. What are you coming up with? A disease where the person constantly has the sensation that there is a single hair in their mouth at all times. My daughter made $110 on her lemonade stand today in like an hour. Turned out people were handing her $5 and $10 and she was just assertively saying thank you for the tip and not offering change beneath at my sister's wedding. Lower East Side. My sister is having an outdoor wedding in New Canaan, Connecticut in May. I want someone to be neek in the woods and to run through the wedding. In order to ruin it, I will protect you from my family. Caught a cicada that was keeping me awake at night. Well guess what ace hole, it's baby shark on a 12 hour loop. My husband passed me off and think he finna sit in the living room and watch TV in peace. So, I downloaded the LG remote app and keep turning the TV off from the bedroom. He came in here and I acted like I was asleep. So now he thinks we have ghosts. Wrote, will you marry me? In the sand. Hope it ducks up a couple's holiday. When I'm a parent, I won't take my kids electronics, when they get in trouble, I'll just take the charger, so I can watch the fear in their eyes as they use it less and less, while the battery slowly begins to run out. Well, I just wanna say, that I'm a huge fan. When you put a nicotine patch on him every night, when he sleeps with you, so he has withdrawals, when you're not together, and he becomes ad beat Ted to hanging out with you. Brought brownies in for all my co-workers. Wasn't cos I was being nice, but cos I heard they were doing a random dog test and I didn't want to be the only dirty one so, unless they plan on firing the whole staff force, they better leave me the duck alone. Two of my friends have never met each other. Before they spoke, I told both of them that the other is a bit deaf. They shouted at each other for a few minutes before they realized that I'm an ace hole. Can't believe I have to say this, but posts that are only here because they contain the number 666 will be removed. You guys are taking the sub too literally. Heart attack. Dad. Quickly son. Call me an ambulance. 
Hi ambulance. I'm proud of you son. Cut them into circles and replace your mate's contact lenses. Whoa, calm down Satan. Just saw two people flirting with one another under one of my posts. I deleted the meme. You won't be finding happiness over here. That's because he's not officially an employee. He's unpaid. You don't pay him. He gets college credit. Are you sure you're not evil? If you could telepathically say something that all 7.8 billion people on earth could hear at once, what would it be? Act out a conversation between two people talking about shutting down the simulation, then freak out about accidentally broadcasting the conversation in the simulation. But if you power off Chicago, the rest of them will notice. We've gotta start somewhere. No, I'm not gonna do that. I think it will frazzle them. The population's too big. You can't just eliminate the entire city. The owner that did this deserves a special place in hell. I found a sim card of my sister who died 5 years ago. Now I was thinking of texting her boyfriend saying, guess who's back. When you try and blow the hair off your screen, but it doesn't move. Wait a second. My sister used to do this to her nails and scratch people at school, because she really does hates everyone she meets. Putting automatic stickers on manual doors prank. Caution. Automatic door. What if you put milk in a humidifier, and trapped a lactose intolerant person with it in a chamber and watch as they sob, and then shut uncontrollably on the ground clawing at the door. Even I'm not into that shot. When I changed my girlfriend's dad's name in her phone to the guy she was cheating on me with, and she sent him a need. You can create your own vault. What is your vault number, and what's the experiment conducted in the vault? Vault 404. Everyone shows up, when the bombs fall, and then there's no vault there. When I was like 11. I was getting bullied by this girl and my mom let me know she heard her parents were getting divorced, and to tell her that neither of them wanted her, which I did, and it worked, but like, mom. I'm looking for the stupid guy who painted this dog like a tiger, I ran to kilometers to save my life. I only stopped when he barked, only then could I tell it was a dog. What is your darkest desire? I wanna stare at someone from across the street then disappear when a bus passes. The thinnest building in Beirut is called Al Baysar, Arabic for the grudge. It's only 2 feet wide at its smallest point, and only exists because a guy wanted to bulk his brother's view of the ocean. I'm owner, I'd like to break both of my legs. Architect, I got you, fam. What is the first letter in the English alphabet? A, C, B, D, C, A, D, B. Squidnapping a junkie off the streets, then forcing him to play Skyrim for 72 hours straight, and when we let him sleep, wake him up like 4 hours into his slumber, by blasting the Skyrim theme, after injecting him with heroin and shot, and telling him he's in Skyrim over and over again. Then when he falls back to sleep, send him to rural Scandinavia with a sword. Tubbs is friendly. She would love a gentle pet. Imagine if that dog was hyper aggressive, but someone from the neighborhood put that sign up as a prank. I have found myself a new hobby. Whenever I'm at a crowded place, I pretend to call someone. Then start coughing really hard, and talk about how my vacation to Wuhan was. So far I have counted 1482 people panicking. It's fun. Holy music stops. A nurse takes a newborn out of an incubator for a TikTok video.
some ace hole in Walmart asked me why I was going down the wrong side of the aisle and why wasn't I wearing a mask. I said because this is America you spineless duck and don't let your fear interfere with my freedom. His face. Today, I found out my 7 year old daughter really did lie about my husband's other girlfriend as revenge for being grounded and that he never cheated on me at all. We're well into our divorce proceedings and he won't forgive me for not believing him when he denied it. Duck my life. That's fake. $10 bills have Alexander Hamilton on them. I'm not sure who that is on yours, but there has not been a change to the $10 bill. Not found in a wall but just as cool. Visited a friend and she showed me the super awesome beehive that she's let grow on her bedroom window. It's really neat watching the bees inside the hive. Not a view that you get very often. I'm hoping that one day people can figure out that not everything that flies and is yellow is called a bee. I took these with my iPhone X. Camera quality so surreal. It's like Leonardo DiCaprio painted them. Not to be confused with award-winning actor Leonardo da Vinci. Just delivered Grubhub to this customer, and now I see why Crown Virus is kicking our race. Can you ask for no cheese on my cheeseburger? Yeah and apparently the hamburger is a dollar cheaper, if you just want that. I do not want a hamburger. I want a cheeseburger with no cheese. If I wanted a hamburger, I'd order a hamburger. Okay, there goes your tip. Missing letter. Absolutely gutted. I've just sat and blown up all the letters to find that that he is missing, but been replaced with an extra array. It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow and now I won't be able to decorate it as planned. Not happy at all. Someone catches a sheriff and his staff saying they want to kill minorities. Sheriff's office, we have to do something about the people who are recording us privately saying we wish to kill minorities. An Oklahoma sheriff's office says the recording in which the sheriff and others are reportedly heard discussing killing journalists and hanging bulk people was illegal. Years ago, my mother-in-law began reading The Exorcist. She said it was the most evil book she ever read. So evil in fact, she couldn't finish it, took it over to the beach, and threw it into the ocean off a fishing pier. I went and bought another copy, ran the faucet over it, and left it in the night table drawer by her bed. My father-in-law said that night was the first time she ever screamed and fainted. I'm going to hell, but I'll go laughing. Set Wi-Fi password to 244466668888888. So when your friend asks for the password, just tell it's 12345678. New bubble wrap will no longer pop when you squeeze it. I saw a cute girl flirting in my comments with a guy and she asked him for his snap and I turned off the comments. If I can't find love, no one can. Go to hell is basic. I hope your favorite book gets a really bad live adaptation is smart. It's possible. It's terrifying. Alright I'm just gonna say it. I always eat the other person's fries on the way home and then keep the fuller one for myself. My son is terrified of the Loch Ness Monster right now. Absolutely terrified. Keeps asking me questions about it. Can it get out of the lock? Is the lock far away etc? No idea where he even heard about it. I told him it can drive and could be in our town in about 20 minutes. Eats we boys. My niece turned 3 today. She asked for a Lion King cake, but specifically the moment where Mufus arrives, because everyone will be too sad to eat the cake, and it will be all for me. Before my mum passed away, she gave my dad strict instructions to water the plants in the bathroom. He's been religiously watering them and keeping them alive. They look so amazing. He decided to take them to his new home. Only to discover they are plastic. Can hear my mum chuckling. There was a little boy in my line with his mom. She went to get something at the last second. He begged me to slow down. I scanned his items as fast as possible. When I was done, I asked him to pay. He started crying. 
I'm in need of some unethical tips to deal with my very loud upstairs neighbors. Hit me with your best, worst, ideas. Pass in a flat baking pan. Put that pan in the freezer. Remove the now frozen pus sheet from the pan and slide it under their door. It'll melt, and there will be a soaking pile of pass at their door when they wake up. Who hurt you? Last night, my son asked if I'd ever heard of a pillow fight. I said I had not, so he explained the premise and asked if I would play. I awkwardly held a pillow as he gave me pointers through a smile that lit up the room. My first swing took him off his feet. He never saw it coming. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Why? Your girlfriend said I should ask you and send her a screenshot. When you dart in a crowded room and ask if anyone else smells wee and everyone take a big inhale. The kind that recognize they are being bamboozled. My little brother struggling to find any end of the blanket. Me who cut the blanket into a Mobius. You evil bastard. New advertising concept would turn the night sky into ads. People would see brands instead of seeing stars when they look up. Trick or treat. Help yourself to the mini pumpkins. A random unattended 7 year old at the park told me and my son that guy people are the devil and are going to hell. My son scoffed, but the boy said it was true because God said so. I told him parents made up God to make their kids do what they want. His eyes got so big. God isn't real, but Freddy Krueger is. Sleep well. Canada use pothole stickers to slow traffic. In Britain, we prefer to use 3D techniques. Map. I really miss switching these two tapes at Blockbuster. A witch puts a curse on you every time you dart. Everyone hears the sound effect of your choosing. Redditors, what sound do you choose? The sound of someone sniffing deeply, so that anyone that hears it will sniff to figure out what that other person smells. Thus now having to smell my dart. If phrases are allowed, my darts say what's that smell. Same result. Someone broke into my car last night. Nothing was stolen, but they chewed all my gum and put it back in the container. This is a hate chime. If I have identical twins, I'm naming them Jif and Jif, but I'm gonna pronounce it differently. You're not home. Your house is broken into. You have an automation system that locks them inside and calls the police and plays any song at maximum volume as an alarm. What song would you choose? Why would I call the police when I can just lock them up in a room, put baby shark on a loop for days? say, oh my god look at the blood on her pants in a crowded hall and the girls who turn around are the ones on their period. Yes, I'm pretty despicable. Y'all my little sister has a picture album of recess shut her classmates say and post when asked. She says she and her friends saving them over the years for when they are applying for colleges to anonymously send it to colleges. I want to make an infomercial where it's not clear what the guy's selling. Like he's demonstrating how powerful this vacuum is by snacking up a bowling ball. But then he starts showing you how strong the bowling ball is by dropping it on some knives. But then he's showing how the knives haven't been damaged at all by using them to cut through some shoes. And it goes on and on for 2 hours. Then just loops back to the start while a number flashes on screen the whole time. And if you call it it just echoes whatever you say back to you. Single man in China once booked every other seat in a cinema theater to split up couples on Valentine's Day. How to freak out guests who are sleeping over. This is going to be fun. Make a wish. And others will chose the consequences. I wish I own all the Lego on my wish list. There's a piece missing from every kit. Not an important piece, but just notable enough to bug you every time you look at it. Got any change? Say you don't have any. I have change, but I'd rather keep it. Dude. You run a small inconvenience store. What do you sell? 
back pain medications on the top and bottom shelves. Okay chill you monster. They should make a co-op game where you and a buddy go through many levels, leveling up and beating bosses, but the final boss is each other. You were my brother player too. I recently smoked a joint with an old friend I hadn't seen in years. Afterwards, he swallowed the roach. I was horrified until he explained that it gets you 10 times higher. Then I remembered 12 years ago when I told him that fact as a joke. He's eaten over a thousand roaches. Hey, why do you guys look so sad? Come sit down with us so we can tell you. Noah, this bench is freshly painted. Me texting my neighbor can you duck quietly? I'm trying to sleep knowing that he's still at work. Bro someone recommended me Boku no Hero Academia. I thinking of watching it tonight. Bro that's a trap. That's some lolly stuff they're trying to prank you. What? Boku no Hero is a real anime. Thanks bro. I appreciate it. Well, I just wanna say that I'm a huge fan. One time, someone mistakenly texted me it's done, so I just texted back excellent, show me his head, and you'll get your payment. Edit, the person was freaked out, and sent back I think I got the wrong number. Please don't hurt me, and he never contacted me again. In 2004, I won a contest to DJ at my very small hometown ZZ listening radio station. I proceeded to play an hour of Evanescence Deep Cuts and ruined everyone's morning commute. Gasp. Imagine having the audacity to walk barefoot in your own apartment. Stop walking barefoot. If you keep doing that, and especially during the Ruha seat night silence, 2200 hours to 6 o'clock. I will report you to the police for disturbance. Seems like the floor is not very soundproof. It would be a shame if someone were to play random loops of mouse squeaks and chewing noises from different Bluetooth speakers aimed directly into the floor. Will you check under the bed before you go? Or, sweetie, no. I'm afraid of what I'll see under there. Good night, sweetie. Unethical life pro tip, give fake money to homeless people. They will thank you for it, but also when they get arrested and taken to jail, it'll reduce the number of homeless people in your area. If I ever become a surgeon, I would say right before the patient passes out from anesthesia, okay, pull up the wikiha article. Well, I just wanna say that I'm a huge fan. What's your deepest darkest secret? One time I told a guy it was theft to google for code snippets, and he quit programming, because it was too hard. My partner, wrongly, thinks I've never seen Lord of the Rings, so he wants a marathon of all the extended editions. What can I say to wind him up during it? Say is this a spin-off from those Hobbit movies? This can cause absolute internal turmoil, especially if you argue that it is because the Hobbit book came first and is set chronologically before it. Refer to Lord of the Rings as the sequel trilogy and compare it to the Star Wars sequels. Push it to open. If that does not work, call. If both do not work, try the actual entrance to your left. Only 6% of people can handle this puzzle. These three want to share two apples equally. How you handle this with using only one stroke of the knife. The secret ingredient is chai. Do better next year. Posting while pretty problematic under every single person's Spotify wrapped. And then responding it's not my job to educate you. When they ask what I mean by that. One time I got pulled over. So I got the cop's name from the ticket, and used it to find his Facebook, then his wife's Facebook. She was pregnant. Then found her due date and rescheduled my court date for the birth of his firstborn child. Sorry mum. Phoned you by accident. No worries. Had you by accident. How do you come back from that? You can't. Cram on your girlfriend's back, and send her the picture. Here are your grandkids you'll never have. I knew a guy who worked in a morgue, 
and when he was new to the job, his co-workers encouraged him to prank the boss by getting on a slab in one of the drawers to jump scare him when he pulled him out. So he stripes off, lies on the slab, and the co-workers cover him up, slide the slab away, and close the door. Thinks, inside the storage there are no walls between the slabs, so he's lying there in the dark with all the corpses becoming increasingly anxious. After about 5 minutes, the corpse next to him says cold in here isn't it, and he tried to sit up so fast he nearly knocked himself out. It was his boss on the slab next to him. That's ducked up LMRO. I hope your phone charger gets damaged to where it doesn't completely break, but only works at certain angles. Can you not curse me with that? I had to deal with one of those like literally a week ago. Have you seen these? They are Japanese hamster bread. The size and appearance of real hamsters. Wouldn't it be cool to put 6 or 7 in your pocket and go to PepsMart and pull one out and start eating it in front of customers? I want a shirt that has a QR code on it for some kind of horrible malware, so that if anyone ever tries to film me in public, their phone will automatically scan the code and be reduced to a functionless brick. Yesterday I went to McDonald's and heard a little kid screaming, Mom, hurry up. There's only 4 Happy Meals left. I was the next in line. So I told the cashier, can I have 4 Happy Meals, please? I saw how his face shifted from smiling to crying. It was beautiful. I like ads before YouTube videos. It's pretty simple really. Having ads before a video allows you to make sure your volume and brightness are set to perfection before the video actually begins. This way you do. My job fired me yesterday. Saw it coming. Just a seasonal position. Already have a new job. And they asked me if I could still show up for my shift today because no one else could take it. I said yes. It is now 10 minutes past when I was supposed to clock in and I'm laying in bed. You are given one wish, but everything you wish happens to everyone. What is your wish? I wish I'd shut myself right now. I'm in the bathroom, so the aftermath for everyone else is gonna be hilarious. Step 1. Empty the casings. Step 2. Get a bowl and add 5 part birdshot 1 part pure capsaicin crystals 2 part salt. Step 3. Mist with water and stir until somewhat clumpy. Step 4. Repeat with 99% alcohol. Step 5. Let dry. Step 6. Repack shells. Unleash semi-lethal hell. Who hurt you? I just found my cousin's sim card and she passed away 3 years ago. I'm thinking of sending her boyfriend text saying, guess who's back. Pokemon Z. Pokemon X is better. Doubt. Just search Pokemon S videos. You're evil. I know. Thousands of people plan to attend a barbecue in front of the home of a vegan Australian woman who took her neighbors to court over the smell of meat cooking in their own backyard. I enjoy getting my sleeves wet when I wash my hands. Whenever I'm at work and I have to wash my hands, I purposefully wet my sleeves so that they stick better to my wrists and give me a nice cooling sensation. It's pure bliss. Got aliens. Me. Devil. After finishing a 90 km ultra marathon, runners have to leave the stadium using these stairs. Some nut head left a football filled with concrete in the middle of a field. Laptop overheating. Pour water on it to cool it down. I trusted you. Do not trust people like me. I will take you to museums and parks and monuments and kiss you in every beautiful place so that you can never go back to them without tasting me like blood in your mouth. I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave, you will finally understand why storms are named after people. Someone broke all of the Kit Kats at my store. Losing my mind, just offered the aisle seat to the guy sitting between me and my girlfriend on a flight, and he said he'd rather stay in the middle seat between us. Embarrassing my team. 
Hi teens. I'm a 42 year old mom. And follow this page, just for insight what may be going on around my 13 female daughter who obviously doesn't talk to me. I'm not one of those suckers. I've seen you guys talk about sliding in kids DMs that are whole creepy ace adults. Ducking gross. I loved the thread where the dad asked how to troll his kid with the phrases the kids are saying. All I can remember is LW mid and calling her a mid got the absolute reaction I wanted. Please show me your ways to troll my daughter with newfangled terms. Also if you're a predator that outs themselves, I will report you to any kind of prosecution or accountability content I can think of, because you're sick. Constantly reference among us, the game. Examples, call things sus, short for suspicious, or call people imposters. It's annoying when teens say this shut, I can't even imagine how awful it would be if my parents said it. Now then, what's your third wish going to be? And your first wish is... Triple world hunger. Um, and your second? Double student debt. Make mosquitoes explosive when crushed. I broke my leg. Don't worry man, I'm sure it's all part of God's plan. Shut, he's still alive. Time for plan B. My sister made me what I thought was a delicious carrot cake, but was actually a meatloaf with mashed potato frosting. Edit, the leaves are made of American cheese. Someone literally died on my flight today, so we made an emergency landing and everyone missed their connections. The guy behind me was complaining saying, how is it an emergency if they are already dead, and I'd just like to say that you sir are the devil. A group of Louisiana public school students were told they were going to a career fair, but were instead taken to a church service, where girls were told to forgive rapists and reject transgender identities and boys competed in push-up contests for money. Parents, students complain East Baton Rouge school's field trip was more like church service. Me calling the missing dog number and barking down the phone. I never wish dealt upon anyone who wronged me. I wish for sudden diarrhea while stuck in traffic with frequent sneezes. One of my favorite things to do with my group of guy friends is to give them my leftover bag of cookies, but leave just one less for them all to get one. They're fighting over them right now. One of them doesn't even like sweets. It's a matter of pride. If you woke up tomorrow morning a billionaire, What's the most extravagantly lavish thing you'd waste some money on? I'd go to generic restaurants, give my waiter or waitress $100 to send a glass of milk with ice in it to a specific table. The $100 would be to keep quiet about who sent the milk. I would do this several more times to the same table until they got visibly upset. No waiter in the world would stop sending ice milks, especially after I raise the offer to $500. If I were a waiter I would gladly keep putting glasses of milk with ice in on Sonian's table, even if they were screaming in my face if I made 500 bucks each time. So yeah, I would do ice milk, instant classic. Create two characters that are very close best friends and make everyone love them. Then, begin making a ship between the both of them and everyone wants to see them dating. Then at the end of the story, kill one of them in the most brutal way and make the other one see it all and enter heavy depression. Never bring back the killed character. Who the duck hurt you? A welcome to Perth sign painted on a building rooftop is scaring passengers landing at Sydney airport. A welcome to Perth sign painted on a building rooftop is scaring flyers descending to Sydney airport into thinking they have been. Guess what? You're adopted. But we don't know it yet. Because we can't read. I printed this paper bag model out of wood PLA. And I have to keep telling my brain. That it's not a real bag. I'm going to just leave it around the office randomly. To make people question reality. Sun was being ace hole. So I deep fried his Optimus Prime. I hung around some shutty surf punks when I was younger, and we'd write buried treasure with an X in the sand. 
The X was where someone, or a few someones, took a shot in a shallow hole and buried it. We called it a turtle nest. Then we'd just wait in the surf line for some poor bastard to succumb to their whimsical curiosity. We were not good people. For $250 an hour, I will pose as a couple's therapist and convince your loved one they are wrong about everything. My brother just emailed this to my whole school. School isn't cancelled. School is cancelled tomorrow. Hey everyone. Just wanted to spread the word. No school. How can I get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine out of my system? A secret I learned in my 20 years as a military doctor. If you get a vaccine that you really don't want to need to remove it from your body, there is only one surefire method to do so. Take 2 to 3 habanero peppers and blend them up with 1.5 cups of water and administer it as an enema. The special acids in the peppers not only deactivate any tracking chips, but also absorb the vaccine toxins right out of your body through your intestinal lining, so they can be immediately excreted. That way you can get the so-called vaccination card without the health risks of keeping the vaccine in your body. Teacher, the test isn't that hard. The test, which is the first Pokemon. A. Bulbasaur. B. Mew. C. Raiden. D. Arceus. Frog Army. Teen breeds millions of frogs in his backyard and leashes them on his neighborhood. I wanted to create the largest frog army in history. When I was 13, my teacher gave me an F, so I made a catfish account that had a relationship with him and then sent it to his wife and got him divorced. You're a burglar, but you only steal things to slightly inconvenience your victims. What are you stealing? I would steal the glass tray from their microwave. It's highly inconvenient, and you're not able to simply go out and buy a replacement. Saw someone posted about this earlier, and I can definitely confirm it's true. I did DoorDash for a short time, and realized that, if you walk with confidence to the pickup spot at any of your fast food spots and grab a bag or two bag and walk out, they will not stop you. Been getting free meals every day for 6 months. DND idea, let your players make up the magic system as they go along, doing whatever overpowered bullshit they want, as long as they give a brief and universe explanation of why they can do that. For instance actually I'm immune to fire magic, because I'm wearing red. Keep track of everything they do, then use the magic system they created against them, turning every do sex machina they ever gave themselves into a diabolus ex machina. For instance you notice that the giant plant monster has a red ribbon tied around its trunk, making it immune to fire magic. You wasted 9 months successfully. Congratulations. Send this to someone who had a miscarriage. I drive a truck. Today a red car decided to cut me off in a very long slow traffic jam. We proceeded to make his life hell for the next hour and a half. Anytime you feel life isn't nice, remember this Brazilian prisoner who dug an escape tunnel for 5 years to burst out in a guardroom. On my friend's 21st birthday, we were all going out drinking. Before he left, his grandfather told him, if he really wanted to drink everyone under the table he should drink 3 shots of olive oil to coat his stomach. So he did, and as soon as we got to the bar, he shut his pants. Six years ago, when me and my partner got together I asked if she ever worried she was in a coma and this was just her coma dream. Ever since on a regular basis I'll whisper, wake up Natalie please, we love you, and then pretend I didn't say anything. For six years. This is the real reason why they don't allow scissors on planes. Are you guys rating your sisters? Mine's a 7. Try again. Mine died at childbirth. It was an unfortunate event for us. So a 0? I'm sorry. She got spawn camped. Life-size Breath of the Wild Guardian at Nintendo of America headquarters in Redmond, Washington. Do not touch. Like I'm not going to be keeping one eye on this at all times. 
at a distance, so I can get out of its eyesight as fast as possible if necessary. Actually, better concept, hang out near this, and then play the A Guardian Has Spotted You music, and see whose fight instincts act up. You're a burglar. But you can only steal things that mildly inconvenience your vibes. What are you taking? I'm stealing the plate that goes in the microwave. This time of year, I grab weeds while I'm walking my dog and weave them into little wreaths that I leave around the neighborhood, specifically because there is a woman on next door who is furious because she thinks they are signs of witchcraft. I encourage you to do the same. Putting a different country's flag on my lawn to make it harder for Geogusa players to guess where they are. Lawn. United States. Florida man break into house, shave the cat's head and leave without stealing anything. My friend just gave me this and said I got you a vegan easter egg. He drove over 20 hours to find this diamond ring someone threw in the water on a TikTok video by Scuba Jake. Now find the person who threw it. Put it under her pillow with a note saying, you are not free. Calm down Satan. Congrats. You're the first to ever find me. Oh wow. I'll grant you as many wishes as you'd like. I wish there's a limit to how many wishes you can have. Uh, okay. Like 100. More like 3. For my second wish, I wish that our wishes that aren't mine will have an ironic twist to them. And for my last wish, I wish all three of my wishes cannot be undone. Why must you ruin it for everyone? Because that's my wish. Bulking someone isn't enough. I want them to get lice. I once intentionally gave a girl lice because she kept throwing her long ace hair all over my desk in class while I was trying to work on assignments. This was in like middle school. I had asked her to stop multiple times and she scoffed and kept doing it. So I picked one off my own head and threw it into her hair. Couple days later, she came to school crying with a bob. I do not regret it. I like to board last. So that the person who has the seat next to me spends the entire boarding process watching slowly as the plane fills, wondering if the next person walking down the aisle will be taking the seat or not. They think their chances of the seat remaining empty rises as people fill seats elsewhere. They contemplate sliding over to take the window seat, the extra room from an empty middle seat. The feeling is similar to bingo, you're one number away from winning. I walk down the aisle slowly, I pretend to look left and right to find my seat, to give them even more hope, I see them getting comfortable from my peripheral vision as their confidence I'll sit elsewhere skyrockets. The very height of suspense, when I approach my final row, to see their face shatter knowing the seat will finally be occupied, and the glimpses of extra arm and luggage space are ripped away. When I turn off the lights in my son's room while he's sleeping, and I played this sound, and he screams for help as he is scared. I laughed so hard at that scene when I was a kid. Same goes with the Bambi scene where his mom ice. It was all just so dramatic. I have problems. So in other words, let the lion fall off the cliff and the hiddenness rule. So let them take over. How to be loved by little kids. Little kids are adorable, but they can also be intimidating. You might feel like you aren't good with kids, especially if you haven't spent a lot of time around them. Fortunately, there are several easy things you can do to quickly bond with a child and get them to enjoy spending time with you. No matter what role you play in a child's life, you can win them over and get them to love you. Kids, what does hell look like? Me. This is a Spotify carriage. We know daylight savings equals darker commutes. Connect your Bluetooth to this carriage speaker and brighten up the journey for those around you. How to make a character's death sadder. The right writing. 1. Don't have them die out old age after a long, fulfilling life. Many people don't even think of this as sad. Note that this can still work if you have enough of the other factors. 2. Leave one of their major goals and finish the more enthusiastic they are about completing the goal the sadder. 3. Give them strong relationships with other characters. 
therefore make them fight against whatever is causing their death. Their ultimate loss is sadder if they struggle. 5. Kill them in the middle of their character arc. 6. Dot describe their funeral in detail maybe it's just me, but I find that long descriptions odd funerals kill the sadness. That's enough Satan's publisher. Have any of you heard of the Harvard MIT pigeon prank? An MIT student dressed in a black and white striped shirt went to the Harvard football stadium every day of one summer, blowing a whistle while scattering breadcrumbs or bird seed to coax neighborhood pigeons down onto the field. At Harvard's opening game of the season, upon the referee's first whistle, it said that hundreds of pigeons descended onto the field, causing a half hour delay. In line at McDonald's little kid behind me screaming he wants an apple pie at his mother. I get to counter. Me. Hi I'll have a number 3. Large. And excuse me how many apple pies do you have back there? McDo worker. 12. Me. I'll take them all. If I was a girl, I would get pregnant as many times as possible. Then have options after the third month of being pregnant. So I would deliver a potato sized one third developed dead face. Then I would take the fez, put it in a jar of preservative liquid, and put it on a shelf in a secret room in my house. And I would do it, until I had so many the room's walls were nothing but potato sized abated fez. Then I would have a kid, and when they are bad I would make them sit in the fez room, and remind them of how easy I could have abated their race. If I was a famous author I would publish a book with 10 different endings which all went to print with varying degrees of rarity, but not tell the fans about it, so that I could watch their confusion as they disagree over how the story ended. Then when they figured it out I would come clean, telling them that I had released 11 alternate endings and watch them panic again as they all try to find the last ending. Are you Satan?